Um, there's a lot of projection going on out there. Uh, a lot of people like take their shit and they put it on you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray Love and I'm back with another Vlogtober Day 10. All right guys, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about mental health. Um, obviously I can't vlog going to the therapist, but um, that's what I did today and um, I wanted to come on and do a different kind of video and just discussing how important mental health is. There's so many times you're going to be going through things and I mean you may not feel like you get a way out or you may feel like you need someone to talk to, nobody understands, whatever brings you to therapy um, can be good. It's really good to try to make sure that you are always putting your best foot forward when it comes to your mental health. I decided to do this vlog a little differently and just, you know, give you, sometimes what I do is do good tips of the day. So I decided that this vlog is just going to be one small, short, good tip of the day. My good tip of the day to you is to keep your mental health first. There are so many people in your life that can drain you and you know what's sad is that they won't even know it. Um, when you find yourself to always be the one that is called, be the one that is talked to, but you can't get it back. Like I love talking to people and I love giving advice or just speaking or just hearing them vent. But when I started to realize I don't get that in return, then you start to change. You start realizing you need change and you have to focus on who's really in your corner. Um, with that being said, I had some things happen to me this year that I, well, I've been in therapy. I tried therapy before uh, for just various reasons. Uh, past issues you wanna take care of or maybe how somebody's treating you, make your relationship stronger. There's been a couple of ways that I have, um, there's been a couple of reasons why I started. Um, but this go around is a little different because I am trying to achieve certain goals within myself. I don't think people take mental health very seriously for some reason. And um, it's more of a, I can do this, I got this, I can go, I can, but sometimes you need the help to process information. So, um, I'm putting out this, it's a triple upload today. So I'm doing vlogment, no, excuse me, not vlogments, because do I always do this? I can't. Vlogtober, day 10. It's going to be this short about mental health. Vlogtober, day 11. is also going to be dropped today, and I'm also dropping a month bank today. I say all this to say that go for your dreams, whatever they may be. Um, put yourself first and put your mental health first is super important um if you don't know how um if you don't know what to do just call your local your doctor that you go to ask them for a referral so that you can see somebody talk to somebody everything that you talk about in there obviously can't be said or done you know everything you talk about in there the information can't be shared so um that's good so you get a sense of privacy um a sense that somebody cares about your life so i basically did this short today um just to let you know that you are beautiful you are wanted you are loved um if you don't feel that way that's okay and um, there are ways and people to help you um open yourself up to things that you can't control um life is still going on without you and you don't want to miss it i know i'm one of those people that can get into deep depression you know and recently i've had a lot of good things that's happened that got me out of that and work that i put into myself because just because good things are happening around you when you're depressed you don't necessarily feel them so i totally understand that but if this word can help somebody to just get out there go talk to someone um push yourself to um, find out why are we like the way we are and how we can fix different things. It would, I would be so grateful for that because that's the point. Coming from that therapy session made me feel like, wow, there's a lot of work I have to do on me. Um, 
everything may look like everything's okay, but inside you may not feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Put yourself first. I know that is totally more easier said than done. Trust me, because I have a hard time doing it. So I know that. Um, but it's not that being nice don't get you nowhere. It's just that it all depends on who you're being nice to, who you're giving your love to, who you're paying extra attention to. People are manipulative. They will use you. They will hurt you. They will get what they want from you. And it doesn't have to mean money. It doesn't have to mean things. It doesn't. It, it could just mean your time, your talk. Um, there's a lot of projection going on out there. Uh, a lot of people like take their shit and they put it on you. Um, you are in control of your entire destiny in a certain way, besides God in my eyes, you know, whatever you believe in, you believe in, but I feel he holds a, a, a certain amount of control, but we are, we have free will and we are in control of what we can do for ourselves. So if I can get some help by doing something for myself, then that's what I'm going to do. Um, if I could read a book that's going to inspire me to help me help another person, that's what I'm going to do. That's just my personality. But I feel like a lot of times people are ashamed to ask for help. They're ashamed to say, you know, I'm not feeling too great today or I can't be the best person or I can't do everything for you. You could be in a family and I can't, you know, cook every day. Like that's something I would do. I can't always be on. I can't always smile through everything. I'm a smiler through everything. This person laughs through everything. And you could be so hurt inside. You can't give to people when you can't give it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? There's no room um, to do that, to even give to your family if you can't give to yourself. So my good tip of the day is to make sure um, if there's a way for you to find help, you get it. And that could just mean if you're overwhelmed, you're a mom, you're overwhelmed, you're a stay-at-home mom, you're tired, you hate your job. Anything that can make it so that you can talk to someone about it before it becomes too late, before it becomes too overwhelming. Uh, stress has a really big way of coming out in your body. I know for me, stress goes right to my back. And um, when you're sick and, 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 and that person you're stressing out about, they, they don't care. They're, they're doing their own thing. You have to be the same way. Um, you have to protect yourself in a certain way, but we have to learn good coping skills how. You know, some people protect themselves in all sorts of ways. That's where you get defensiveness from. That's where you get um, combativeness. That's where you get um, shut down. People shut down. Everybody does it in their own way. And it's not that you are um, failing. The only time you fail yourself is when you don't get the appropriate help. And I want to say uh, something that was told to me by um, my therapist a long time ago. Um, you know, I was like, well, I'm here, I'm in therapy, and I was really upset about it. Like, um, not that I, I, obviously I went to school for it, so it's not that I'm upset about going to therapy, it's just that I felt like, oh, I'm here, and obviously everything's wrong, and blah, 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 and now I find myself here. And um, she said to me, and this was about, probably about two years ago, she said to me, if you broke your leg, would you not go to the doctor? And I'm like, well, yeah. She said, okay, if you had a sickness, would you not go to the doctor to see what it was? I'm like, well, yeah. It's like, okay, if you need to write a paper and learn something, would you not research it and go to the library or whatever? I'm like, of course. Okay, that's the same way when it comes to your mental health. If you feel overwhelmed, if I'm feeling depressed, if I'm feeling any of these things, and even if I just want a safe space to talk, you don't have to feel depression, but would you not seek the appropriate help? And I said, yes. So that's where I'm at today. That's my good tip of the day. I guess this is a good tip of the day short video for Vlogtober day 10. Anyway, I hope you guys get it. And I just wanted to share that. It's not long at all. I just wanted to share that with you. And please look out because I will be uploading basically all day today. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. I just uh, wanted to share that with you guys. And I'm super excited that I am still in therapy. And I'm excited to the goals and me making them. Anyway, until we vlog, chat, vent, uh, what else do we do? Eat, uh, <laughs> go live, whatever we do, until we do it again. Um, I'll see you guys later.